Evening, friends. Happy Easter. How are you all? Happy Easter. Okay. Well, in this class, we all completed our first and second units for our formative assessment one. So, in this uh, class, we will be having a few multiple choice questions. What are the questions? Multiple choice questions. Uh, in this uh, short class, we will be asking a few multiple choice questions, and we will be answering the questions by reading the responses. So, shall we start? Yes, sir. So, we have joyful Jyoti to start the question. I will read the question. You tell the response uh, options and tell me the right answer. One. Why was the man revengeful? A. Because he was powerful. B. Because the king seized his property. C. Because he wanted to replace the king. None of the none of the above. Now it's the right answer. Can you guess? B. Can you because, read the answer? B. Because the king seized his property. Is it the right answer? Yes. Wonderful. Caps. Yes. 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 Now second question goes to our loyal Lassia. Lassia, are you ready? The question reads, why was the king not satisfied with the answers? Can you read the options? A. They were lengthy. B. They, they were all different. They, C. They were all dull. D. They sound on purpose. No purpose. Okay. What is the right answer? B. They, they were all, they were all different. different. Are you sure? sure. One row. Claps. Daring Deepika. Now the question reads, why did the king go to the hermit? A. His care. B. Simple clothes. C. His care. D. His hurry. What is the right answer? C. His care. Are you confident? Yes, sir. Okay, let's check the answer. Answer is, the king went to see the hermit. Wonderful. Next question goes to our student. My name Rocking Rohita. The question is, why did the king dig the birds? A. Because he loved gardening. B. To help the hermit. C. To pass time. D. To get his answer. What is the right answer? B. To help the hermit. Wonderful Rohita. Wonderful answer. Now the last question from girl side goes to our oh, victorious Rohita. Who was the wounded man? So he was in the lesson you saw a bearded man with wounds, right? Who was the wounded man? <coughs> A. A friend of the hermit. B. A friend of the king. C. An enemy of the hermit. D. An enemy of the king. Which is the right answer? A friend of the king. B. Are you sure. Let's check the answer. Answer is a friend of the king. Now let's invite boys and boys answers. First question goes to our uh, omnipresent Omkar. Omnipresent means he is present everywhere. You can see him on the corridor, you can see in the class, you can see in the ground, you can see in the midday room. Wherever you see, you see this boy Omkar. Omkar, are you ready with the question? Whose wounds? Did the king dress? A. The hermit. B. His god. C. The horse. D. The bearded man. Okay. What is the right answer? The bearded man. Okay. In the in the in the textbook, you can see the person who, who was wounded is bearded man. Bearded One man. of the claps. Um, the next question goes to what? Uh, powerful question. Who was the bearded man? A relative of the king, friend of the king, king's sworn enemy, or god of the king. Which one is correct? C. King's sworn enemy. One. Claps. Our polite Pranay. Pranay, are you ready? What did the bearded man ask for? What did the bearded man ask for? A. Water. 
D. Property. C. Forgiveness. D. Money. Which is the right answer? C. Forgiveness. Can you spell out the word? Forgiveness. Spelling.